If you've ever thought about changing your life, switching careers, or moving to a new city, this is for you. Maria Shriver has a great new book out. It's called I've Been Thinking, meant to inspire you toward living a meaningful life. So she sat down with a group of women who have found meaning in their lives by completely starting over. We're all here and in very different places in our lives. Some have made that decision voluntarily. Some have found themselves in a position that they never thought. All of you have embarked on what we're calling the next chapter of your life. Dr. Christiane Bishop pursued her lifelong dream of becoming a doctor at the age of 44. Now at 67, she's practicing geriatric medicine and has no plans to retire anytime soon. So what made you think you could go to medical school, go through the rigor of being an intern in your 40s and 50s. I had no doubt that I could do it. It was just that nobody else thought I could do it. How do you manage that when nobody else thinks you can do what you think you can do? More determined, I think. Don't tell me I can't do something. Six years ago, Carrie Harper Howie made the decision to leave her job as a corporate lawyer to buy a restaurant franchise, risking it all to spend more time with her growing family. I talked to my husband about it, and I'm like, oh, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a business person. And he encouraged me, my sister encouraged me, my mom encouraged me. That was what I needed to take the leap. For Jeanette Horn, it took half a century to find her voice. At the age of 50, she left her husband and her home and moved across the country to become an actress. When I finally said, I, I can't do this anymore, it was the hardest morning of my life. And I look back on it now and I, I kind of almost can't imagine what was it that made me pick up the blue suitcase and say, I'm out. You're sitting in a house, you have children, you're married, and you had all these dreams in a suitcase, so to speak. Right. And, and how did you step into them? I had an, a little epiphany that I could want something and I could say, this is what I want, and if you say no, I'm gonna have to go find a way to get it myself. But not all second chapters are chosen. Some are thrust upon you, turning your world upside down without warning. That's the way it happened for Cindy Helen Ann. This chapter of your life started with the death of your husband, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the loss of your best friend and partner, you've got two kids to raise, you're grieving. How do you manage through that? This May, it'll be two years since my husband passed away, and with the help of a lot of family and friends, that support has really carried me through. I mean, every day is different, but with time, I am feeling more steady and better. More steady and better. You said something very interesting to me. You said that you felt that the world was telling you that your role was to be a wife and a mother and to be the support system. What do you feel the world is telling you today? I think to build yourself up, to be strong, and to face new challenges or things that we're afraid of, you have to be good to yourself. I think we as women, often tell ourselves that we should feel bad about wanting more or wanting differently. And when you get to that point where you realize inside you deserve it, you're able to get a little bit past that guilt. None of you seem to have stayed on the trajectory that you thought you were gonna go on. What would you say to women who are sitting out there with some longing, with some unfulfilled dreams? If you're scared to take the leap, that's okay. Be patient, give yourself some time but use that time to learn more about what is inside of you that you're, you're just trying to find a way to get it out. Go for it, that's yeah. what I say. <laughs> Go for it, just jump. Understand that you deserve to be all that you can possibly be. And you're sort of shortchanging yourself when you allow the fear to keep you from doing it. I'm a big believer that all of our stories inspire somebody else that we may never meet and we may never know. And so thank you for sharing yours. Thank you. Thank you. We adore our Maria. We do. Her She's new great. book, I've Been Thinking, is out right now. Yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.